with today's video as we've been doing for the past few days we're just going to go over some of this tropical guidance which still shows nothing over the next seven days we're also going to dive into the upcoming pattern where there is actually a lot more going on potential severe weather for the eastern united states early next week alongside some pretty major storm systems moving across the nation overall some big temperature flips in the cold direction and then eventually into the warmer direction as we've been kind of touching on we know a little bit more at this point so we're gonna have more to talk about today so before we get into things be sure to check out our other business prestige weather in the description and pinned comment down below we do early access to our seasonal and monthly forecasts where we have our second winter forecast coming out there very soon that should be on the youtube channel by the end of the month um, but for now, we are expecting to make that probably next week and have that up alongside a, a bunch of other seasonal videos like the next fall forecast, hurricane season update, first freeze, first frost, first snowfall, total snowfall, all of that fun stuff, all foliage. We're going to have so much going on over there. So be sure to check it out again in the description and pinned comment down below. As I mentioned, no real tropical activity expected over the next seven days. So we're just going to glide right past that here into the upcoming uh, storminess and as you can see by later on today we do have a couple of storm systems ongoing 998 here over the northeast and eastern canada we have a thousand and two here over the upper midwest and great lakes thousand and five here over south central canada these two are kind of um brother and sister if you will here and they are kind of related and we have this kind of connection going on here where we see the storms are all connected and they are Again, I think the perfect way to put it is related here uh, and pretty much bringing impacts far and wide here across south central Canada, uh, the northern plains and upper Midwest, the United States down into the Great Lakes and Ohio Valley. Definitely looking at some thunderstorm activity for these folks here um, over the next day or so. We can see over the southeast, we do have a bit of activity going on here and then across the northeast of the United States into eastern Canada, we also have some thunderstorms ongoing there. As we move on towards tomorrow, which is going to be Saturday the 12th here for the afternoon, we could see thunderstorms reaching across the deeper south back down into uh, some of the Ohio Valley here, the northeast, and then again, uh, kind of eastern Canada here getting impacted with some of this thunderstorm activity. So it's all kind of coming together over the east. We do see the four corner states are still dealing with some of that monsoon activity, so heavier precipitation for some of those folks. <laughs> Definitely looks to be a big player here for Saturday the 12th at least. It has been for quite a while as well. Sunday the 13th here, uh, we have two separate systems. None are really an organized low. We do have some storms over the northeast, mostly New England here, across a lot of eastern Canada as well. And then we have this kind of second system now moving in for a lot of south central Canada down into the plains and Midwest. Definitely bringing potential severe weather with it but also just strong thunderstorms in general there for Sunday the 13th. Uh, Monday the 14th here, we could see a lot of thunderstorms here across the Ohio Valley uh, into the upper Midwest and Great Lakes. So definitely dealing with some thunderstorm activity across these parts. Uh, Tuesday here on the 15th, we can see this all kind of really quickly moves eastward here towards these folks here in the east and eastern Canada as well. Definitely taking a look at some very, very interesting thunderstorm activity. Uh, Wednesday the 16th here, we can see that we do see some of the deeper southeast dealing with these thunderstorms. 992 developing here over North Dakota, definitely looking to bring some impacts. And then again, we kind of have this brother-sister thing going on between this 1002 and 1005 here. Um, definitely related there and bringing thunderstorms far and wide there for eastern Canada and some of New England. It's really this one I want to watch, though. I want to see how this kind of develops. Very interesting situation. As we head towards Thursday, yeah, there we go. Thursday the 17th, 990, now over northern Minnesota. Clearly, we have a cold front, uh, warm front dynamic here. And it would be this cold front extent that you really want to watch for that severe weather. So Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan uh, can't rule out thunderstorms or severe weather along that low and along the warm front but that cold front area is going to be where we watch for the worst of the impacts there. And by Friday here on the 18th, uh, we could see 992 here, secondary low, 1002 down here. Uh, and what we see is a warm front, cold front. Um, and then again, cold front kind of extending off of this low. So all of these areas you'd be watching for potential severe weather underneath, especially there. Definitely looking to be a very impactful system. And by Saturday, we still see this one bringing impacts to the northeast. So definitely a very, very interesting storm to say the least. 
By Sunday, the 20th here, what we end up seeing is some thunderstorm activity still lingering here for the northeast, um, also for the deeper south here, but really a quieter day compared to the rest of the days that we've just taken a look at. So it really looks like the most active or the most quiet day out of a very active pattern here on Sunday, the 20th. We have seen in the long range, I want to put this out there, that this European model has kind of trended at days like this, and then they end up being a lot more active than originally shown. So I can't confirm nor deny uh, that this will end up happening, but there is a, a really decent chance that this is going to pick up in activity over time. Let's take a look at that total precipitation and no surprise, I mean the deeper southeast obviously dealing with a lot as we see those day after day after day isolated thunderstorms. But it's really this area here that we're watching for the most above average activity because of all of these lows that develop in this pocket and kind of move across just like this. That is what's bringing a lot of this. So anywhere in the whites is practically no precipitation. Your grays are a tenth of an inch or less. Your greens are a tenth of an inch to half an inch. Blues are half an inch to an inch. Your yellows are an inch to two inches. Reds are two to five inches. And then your browns are five to 10 inches of precipitation there. As a rule of thumb, we are watching those red and brown areas the most for above average activity. So again, this area that I just circled in here is mostly reds and above. Uh, there is some pockets of less than that, but in general, those red areas is again, the above average precipitation areas over the next 10 days that we are going to be watching. Now the temperature pattern, as you can see, I mean, we're starting things out and it's not very hot compared to normal. Uh, it is still hot because it is August, but we are looking at below normal temperatures for most of the states besides this area here, where we've been consistently in a heat wave for the entire summer, pretty much. Let's just keep going with this. And what we end up seeing happen is a little bit of a southeast ridge. We still see this very positive PNA, so Pacific North American oscillation, warmer temperatures here. And this forces cold air to dive southward to the east of it. And we can see that taking place here, even across the northeast a little bit. Uh, but another player here is we do have this southeast ridge holding on for dear life. So we see a lot of warmth moving across here. And as this cold interacts with the warmth, we could be watching for some more amplified thunderstorm events, potential severe weather as well. But what we end up seeing happen is this cold does eventually win out and we do see more consistent cold fronts. But really that southeast ridge does hold on for a while. It's really just around this frame, which is going to be uh, Wednesday into Thursday, the 16th into the 17th. We do see the cold finally reach the east. But as you can see, another cooldown comes through, and that southeast ridge is still holding strong here. So this could be consistently a player. Um, and we can see this cold moving in just like this. Very interesting. Still dealing with very warm temperatures across a lot of the west there. As we keep going, we can see warmer temperatures for a lot of the east, but still the west as well. And we reach into the 26th here. And we still see positive temperatures in here. And this tends to tell me that we could see some cooler temperatures than what this is showing for the east, if this is true. And the other interesting thing is you can tell, you know, again, it's coast to coast warmth here, just like it was yesterday, which I've always said I don't think is very likely. But the interesting thing here is that I think the west is a little bit more warm than the east now. So this could be the models kind of starting to come together on, a, on an idea of perhaps the west being warmer. Uh, and the east being a little bit cooler certainly a, a big possibility there and something we're going to track here on the channel moving forward again be sure to check out our other business prestige weather for those early access videos as well as weekly consulting calls and things like that we have a lot of cool stuff over there and it's only five dollars a month also be sure to subscribe to the channel for daily uploads just like this one you can even hit the bell icon for daily notifications when we upload so you never miss one. Be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.